Good morning, Twitch.tv. Good morning to YouTube as well. And, of course, good morning, Mini Motorways. We are off to Warsaw for today's daily challenge, which will see all of the trees not being destroyed. And to go with our ecologically minded rule set, I guess, we're also getting half the number of road tiles that we usually would. So, you know, that's that, that, that that's fine. Everything's okay. I'm okay with the things that are currently happening around me, I suppose. Oh, goodness. It is good to be back in the saddle, even though I will not, I will not lie. I am still tired. <laughs> I had a fairly hellacious work schedule last week. Uh, multiple trips of hundreds of miles in multiple directions. It was it was fine and dandy and fun. And hey, as a, as acknowledgement of the fact that they made me work an awful lot last week, my employer is taking it taking it easy on me this week. By which I mean I have three more such journeys already scheduled. But you know, so it is uh, unlikely that we'll be able to stream on Tuesday or Wednesday. And while there will be Gimimimim, we will not be debuting our new Thursday game. Well, this coming Thursday, how about that? Let's take uh, two traffic lights here, just because I've perfectly set myself already for this to be a perfectly cromulent traffic light going down this way. We've got, uh, ultimately, ultimately, and in fact now, I don't want this green to interact with the orange, but at the time, that was the southern extreme of the map. So for now, uh, this is gonna have to be, oh, gross. Nobody wants that, why did we do that? What is happening here? Hold on, no. Green thing, green thing, why? All right, fine, we'll do this. This is a perfectly cromulent traffic light, even if, you know, the whole thing of it sucks. It's fine. It's all fine. It's totally fine and dandy. We've got a greenhouse that's going to spawn right here. This one house is going to do the bulk of the work for both of these businesses. It's actually going to be okay. Until, you know, that orange over there spawns and everything goes kernutsy. All right, fine. Well, listen, it's going to be okay. So, here's the deal. For those of you who do not know, either because you have not been paying attention or, frankly, because, well, I haven't been streaming for a week, there is a poll. There is a, a, new, po a new game poll. Bang Thursday in the chat to help us choose our brand new Thursday game. We have the usual 10 choices in a ranked ballot type thing. You know the deal. Uh, we're going to take 15 road tiles here because I desperately need me some road tiles. And, um, hmm. Well, shit, folks. This is bad. I wanted to have, oh boy, hmm. I think we're gonna have to have the oranges and greens share a road just so that I can reclaim one of these bridges and then use it to loop these oranges in. So, that's not great. Hmm. All right, so what we'll do is we'll have these greens come here. You hook up there, you go in like so. Now I want, unfortunately I can't do what I had been doing because this house spawned at the exact confluence point we were talking about here, so. All sorts of bad, really. Hmm. Let's see here. If I undo... What if we just nuke everything and start from scratch, basically? That seems like a really bad idea, and yet... Alright, we're gonna, we're gonna get one bridge back right now. As soon as that green gets across, we do that. And that at least will let us send these two oranges down this way into this business. That part we know is going to happen. The rest of the parts, not so sure about. So, uh, with one bridge, 
it's Tuesday, so I cannot afford to let any of these businesses languish for the rest of the week. They would be uh, ultra fucked. So, let's see here. We need a way for these to run like this, and then do we just have all of the oranges come down like so in here? Oh, that feels awful. That feels awful, and yet, let's try it for a minute. At least until we get, oh boy, well, I was gonna say at least until we get a bridge, but now, well, actually, yeah, we can we can have these purples and, and oranges come together. You know what we'll do, even? I have an idea. We're gonna run purples up this way. We're gonna do a traffic light here. This is a perfectly cromulent traffic light for the oranges to come up this way and then over here. So these purples will go that way for this purple business. And now if we get another bridge, we can separate these oranges from all of these greens. And this can be slightly less ridiculous. It'll still be plenty ridiculous, I'm sure, but it can be ever so slightly less so, hopefully. So, if you're in the chat right now, there is a, a link in the chat to the new Tuesday, Thursday game pool, not Tuesday game pool. Uh, let's take ourselves a motorway, and what we will do is we will just run oranges up here, like so. We will loop these greens down and around so as not to touch the orange business. And now, from here, motorway number one will slide right down there. We get a bridge, we can easily replace this, it'll be fine, but for now, that motorway is gonna work. Uh, hi there, you're a circle. That's mm, unfortunate, I didn't endorse that plan. Nobody consulted me, I feel ju uh, justly aggrieved, honestly. I, I feel perfectly justified in my grievance, and yet, here we go. So there is a link in the chat, and for the folks watching on YouTube, there will be a link in the description as well to choose our new Thursday game. That poll is set to close tomorrow at noon. So tomorrow at noon will be the uh, the final day. Yeah, tomorrow at noon will be the end of that poll, meaning we will have chosen the new game, and uh, it'll be fun. It'll either be uh, right now. The, the choices are... And we'll just go down the list real quick. We've got more Baldur's Gate 3 because, listen, Baldur's Gate 3 is an excellent video game. And despite the fact that we're in Act 3, there is still an awful lot of it left to go. Cyberpunk 2077, which we played as part of uh, Subathon 8. I think that was Subathon 8 we did that. Yeah, that sounds right. Uh, let's take a bridge here. And, what a shame. So this beigeness up this way. We can satisfy just by doing that. This purple over here is a bit more flummoxing. And by flummoxing, I mean a pain in the ass. So we're going to take you and you, we'll put you, you two, and this on a road going up this way, we'll have, what is this, six, six houses, support that business, deal with this intersection, it'll basically be okay. Next, oh, I can't really, I can't really get through this way on account of all the trees. So, buttons, there's trees and they're forming a barrier. Oh, why do they have to form a barrier? Okay. So the trees are forming a barrier. I don't know why I'm saying it like that, by the way. But the trees are forming a barrier. And, uh, who? Okay. You go up that way. You go up that way. You and you go up that way. You're going to go on a road that goes over here. And then... Out. Like... 
so. And down here. I don't quite understand that, but via lengthy, ridiculous machination. Oh, thank God. Oh, thank God we got a purple over here and we don't actually have to do that terrible thing I had slated myself to do. I am, however, out of road, so not great. Uh, looks like we're gonna get just a tiny influx of purple cars to come down here and clear up the problems with this business and then those cars will clear out. This one house will take over sole responsibility for this. That'll be uh, basically okay, I guess. I need literally one road tile. Hey, look, literally one road tile. Okay. So, uh, huh. this is, this is truly awful. Hey, wait a second. I don't think I need this to exist. This little cut here, because this little cut here only existed to get purples down this way. So, yeah, we can, okay. Well, we could in the moment have, and then didn't. Interesting. All right, you can come back here. This is, this is, this is a lot, honestly. Um, I've got a bridge I'm not using. Is there something I can do to make my life easier here? There absolutely is. There absolutely is. Okay. Here's what I'm going to do to make my life easier here. We're going to take these three beiges. We're going to redraw motorway number one, such that those beiges serve this beigeness via motorway number one. Next, we're going to draw this road here. I'm just now realizing that I can't easily... I'm gonna have to redraw this bridge because we're gonna have to transport our greens down south. I can't come at this business from the north or the east because of these trees. So I need to swoop down under the trees like so. Voosh, okay. It is about to be Monday, so the fact that we're uh, out of road tiles is not truly a massive problem. It's only a minor annoyance. Also, just got a motorway. That's gonna help immensely, actually. Um, I might actually just wanna redo everything I just undid. I think, th I think the simplest and easiest thing to do, because all of this shit was working, uh, I think the, the thing to do is just redraw this bridge going this way and say sorry folks to the to the notion that we might not want to have a bridge right here yeah we, we might want to just motorway number two this we just renamed motorway number one is what we did basically we just renamed motorway number one that's all the townsfolk will have a big old outcry about it and there will be folks for there will be signs on the road for the next 50 years that when you get on motorway number two, they'll say, Old motorway number one! Because, well, it's what happened when they renamed highways here in Massachusetts, and I assume that's what happens anywhere, because it can't just be that people from Massachusetts or even Americans are unique assholes about stuff. It could just be that people are assholes about stuff. Speaking of stuff, well, it's better than speaking of assholes. Speaking of assholes is not the title of the episode, just for the record. Uh, let's see here. So, ow, itchy. So I've drawn this little bridge to get this purple house over this way. And it's probably a better solution than the one I had been workshop. Although, you know, the one I'm workshopping has the advantage of not stealing a bridge. Like, not requiring a bridge, even. So, oh, gross. Okay, give me another motorway, because we're going to need another motorway. Okay, here. So you go that way, you go that way, you, voop and voop, go up here. Okay. So now I'm in possession of a bridge and a motorway. Wonderful. Uh, can I get anything going 
up this way. Let's pretend that I can. We can do this, and then that like so, and then one, two, three greenhouses, light greenhouses, can support our two light green businesses. That's totally fine and not gonna overfuck anything. Why would you suggest that anything might get overfucked? So what I've done is, oh, bother. Okay, never mind. You're a circle now. You need all the help you can get. So what we'll do is we'll peel these two light greens away from here. Draw motorway number three such that these two can support that. And that'll probably wind up being fine eventually. What I've done, incidentally, is connect these two tiles here, uh, basically so that these two purple houses can supplement this purple house in the quest to support this purple business. Incidentally, also, if this business here wants to be light green, that would be, mm, mm. you can't see the chef's kiss going on, but there is some, that would be good. That would be good. I would support that. I am in favor of a plan that involves this business right here being light green. Even if it would like mean that these are connected and I'd have to find another way to, to fuck with them, uh, we'll deal with it. This right here is actually dark green. Okay. Well, listen. We've got a bunch of dark greens up here that I'm only sort of using, so... I actually don't feel that bad about it. What we'll do is we'll draw this bridge, hop in between the trees here in a manner that we couldn't do coming through this way. And now these two dark greens will support this dark green business right here. And that's basically gonna be fine. Like we've got plenty of dark green right here. We've got all the dark green backup we could possibly hope for up over this way so even though this is two dark green this is two dark green circles hold on you know hold on what if uh what if that didn't have to be two dark green circles on one dark green road what if uh what if we got a little road savvy and by road savvy i mean savvy and by savvy i mean bridge usey what if we just had like one, two, three, four greenhouses for each of these green circles? Because the minor issue of all of the road that we need to recover from somewhere over this particular rainbow, but, um, I actually don't have a but for that sentence. I do, however, have a soul deep need for road tiles. So we'll pull these over here. A soul deep need for road tiles could well be the title of the episode. We'll see if I say anything else funny in the next, oh, 40 minutes or so. No promises. Anyway. So these four dark greens right here will support this eastern moor circle. These four right here will support that circle. This business will probably go abandoned. Hopefully I'll get a bridge or something. Good morning, Luke Ainsworth. Hey, look, a bridge or something. Luke Ainsworth is here with us. Good Monday morning. Back at it again at Krispy Kreme. No, at Mini Motorways. Hello. All right. So, uh, these two oranges here can support that. That'll be basically fine. Hey, look. Everything's going to be basically fine. Probably, hopefully. Something just went circular when I wasn't looking. What was it? It's a good question, self. Uh, was it one of these purples? Were these both circles? I don't remember these both being circles. I could be wrong. I could be misremembering. Uh, Lou Gainsworth is in fact basically fine. See, everything's basically fine. This is fine. This is absolutely a-okay. Everything's going well. E even, even this light green circle being a circle now. It's basically fine. Here. You are just enough to get these two up into here. We've got backup for you should we come to need it. 
render unto me a motorway. And now let us have a think about how best to deploy it. Uh, I think the answer of how best to deploy it is that it's time to separate these purples and oranges. They've had a lovely time together. They've come to be good friends, but into every life a little rain must fall and by a little rain I mean uh, mommy and daddy are splitting up and our little I don't know what color do you get when you mix purple and orange I feel like I feel like purple and orange would be a really ugly color combination actually um, little baby shit stained brown I just has to understand that m mommy purple and daddy orange are, are, they love each other very much, but it's time they go their separate ways. And by separate ways, I mean uh, all of the purples are gonna hop on motorway number four, come over this way, support these two businesses that away. If I had a roundabout, I could roundabout right in here. I don't know if it's necessarily worth taking a roundabout over anything, but I feel like the ideal configuration of this resources not being a factor would be bop the motorway here into a roundabout. Northeast spur goes there, southern spur goes there. But hey, as a problem for future me, present me must deal with these beiges. Hi, beiges. Uh, you're kind of okay, actually, because we can just do that. And then this is a perfectly cromulent traffic light. And you already had three houses right here. So, you know, you're basically okay. Here, uh, you're fundamentally fine. There. What we can do, even, is swing in a fourth beige house like so. Reposition this that away. Let's grab a couple of these light greens, send them up here just in case this has any uh, round thoughts brewing. And listen, if you want to round yourself, that's fine. That would actually work out just A-OK. -okay. Now look, I could take that roundabout I was talking about, but I can't possibly justify taking a roundabout over a bridge in a situation where I have no bridges. Never, ever, ever going to be able to justify taking a roundabout over a bridge in a situation in which I have no bridge. Unless there's, like, no water on the map. And if there's no water on the map, well, I don't know, bridges wouldn't be on offer. Maybe. Who knows? Do, do they have bridges in Las Vegas? No, that's a bad example because they've artificially imported water and then created the need for bridges and then put in bridges. So... <sighs> Anyway, uh, over here, we have another orange business. So the easy thing to do is just that. Uh, it is worth noting, of course, that that means that these three orange houses are now tasked with both of these, which seems mm, bad. So let's uh, gently encourage this orange house over here to be a fourth coming down this way in support of these two businesses. And that's still probably not gonna be great, but it'll be finer, longer than if I hadn't done that. Yes, let's go with that. You remember 20 minutes ago when, uh, oh hi, you're, you're a circle now. Now that's <sighs> truly awful, actually. If I get a motorway, I can motorway these three beiges up here peel this road away and just have the four of these focus entirely on a yeah i can do that exact thing actually because we can just get rid of that traffic light get rid of that road connection uh mute the mic because i have to cough unmute the mic because i successfully muted my cough for once loop this beige down into here and plot motorway number five going north like so so now these one two three beige houses right here are in support of this square beigeness, and the one, two, three, four beiges right here can keep this circle from kerfucking itself. That'll be, again, basically fine. Fundamentally a okay. Nuts and bolts, everything's cool. Ow. You remember 20 minutes ago when I was talking about games for the Thursday poll? Well, 
there are more games than just Baldur's Gate 3 on the Thursday poll. There's Cyberpunk 2077, which we played as part of Subathon 8. I had a lot of fun with the PS5 demo for that. I think if that wins the poll, I'm going to buy it on Steam because that's like, you know, first person and shootery. And uh, we saw from the Outer Worlds that I should not be trusted to play a first person type shooter type thing on a, on a video game controller. I'm not good enough to put that in front of people people on the internet so that's a possibility there's also final fantasy 15 i know 16 is coming out soon and apparently has really good reviews but i don't have 16 i have 15 and i've never played 15 uh you know what we're gonna take that roundabout and we're gonna make this uh this little possibility of mine an actual reality dreamed about it for so damn long all 85 seconds, I, I thought it might be possible. And, and here it is. We're gonna do a roundabout right here. We're gonna do a Southwest Spur of that roundabout. Sunflare Space is here. Good afternoon, Sunny. Or possibly morning. Are you still, you can't still be West Coast US, Sunny. No, no, you, you, must, you must be back in the jolly socialized healthcare confines of freezing Europe town, yes? Please tell me you're in freezing Europe town and not still you literally just arrived home good afternoon sunflare space thank you for being here uh we are road limited and uh, I, I idea frustrated as usual as is basically always the case here i see here so uh you need to swing down that away because well actually we can just do that and that's mm, not as good probably uh, voop and voop and voop and voop and voop. You kept waking up at 6 a.m. in the Pacific Northwest. That's not fun. This is not a game of one-upsmanship. I just want to state for the record, I went to bed at 9.45 last night, and I woke up from a nightmare at 2 and could not get back to sleep. Yay! So that's fun times for the underscore Google. But we were discussing the games that are on offer for the Bang Thursday poll. Again, Bang Thursday in chat, or it will be in the uh, description of the YouTube video. Let's take a uh, motorway right here. We've got Baldur's Gate 3. We'll do more Celeste if that wins the poll. Cyberpunk 2077, Final Fantasy 15, Wrestle Quest is a cute little RPG that I heard a fair bit about when it came out. It's supposed to be good and fun and silly. There's also Disco Elysium, a game that I've heard a lot about and we've played a little bit of on various, you know, I guess the plural of subathon is just subathons. It could be subathon, but that feels icky somehow. Uh, we also have Dragon Age 2. I, I do want to play Dragon Age 2, mostly because I, I want to play Dragon Age Inquisition, and I would feel bad if I didn't at least try to play Dragon Age 2. <laughs> uh, no, I do want to play Dragon Age 2 and Dragon Age Inquisition before Dragon Age Cole in the Veil Guard, which I realize is an ambitious request of myself, given that Veil Guard comes out on, like, Halloween. I don't know if it comes out literally Halloween. It might come out on literally Halloween, which, if nothing else, would be funny. Oh, let's see here. We got a problem. And the problem, well, I was going to solve the problem with these purples, but actually I think we can solve this problem. Well, we can remedy this problem with these purples. The problem is these two businesses are starting to get all, you know, fucked. So, you know, actually, we're going to go down and into the roundabout so as not to futz with the entry going here. I feel like this is going to be less obtrusive. We're just going to add these two purple houses to the mix here, put them into the roundabout. They'll support both of these businesses. It should, broadly speaking, be fine. Other games that are on the Thursday game poll include, but are not limited to, Grand Theft Auto 4, which is a, a good video game that did not, in my opinion, get a fair shake when it came out, but also, it's been a while since I played it, and I've kind of had the niggling little thought in the back of my head, hey, I kind of want to replay Grand Theft Auto 4. And listen, if people want to see me play Grand Theft Auto 4, I am more than happy to turn my niggling little thought of, hey, I want to play Grand Theft Auto 4 into... <laughs> Content. <laughs> that word. Or we could play Hard Space Shipbreaker, a 
lovely little space scavenging game. There's also a couple of classic games that I've just escaped my 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 playing that I totally have access to and 100% could play. Those being The Last of Us. Uh, apparently there are zombies. I don't know. Uh, Nick Offerman's in it, from my understanding. I kid. And Star Wars colon Knights of the Old Republic, because hey, why have one woefully out-of-date Bioware RPG on your What Thursday Game Should I Play poll when you could have two? That is not all of the logic, but it must be part of it, because listen, Dragon Age 2 and KOTOR are on the same poll. Good job, Gook. Well done. Anyway, one more time, we'll do Bang Thursday in the chat. And for those of you watching on YouTube, there will be a link to the RCV123 ballot. That'll be in the description of the video. Go there, rank your choices. Poll runs through noon tomorrow. So, like, do it. <laughs> I, I didn't realize when I created the poll and set it to run for this long that I would only really have one shot to really heavily plug it. But given that there's no gimmimimim tomorrow... Uh, I only have one shot to really heavily plug it, so, you know, uh, consider it plugged? Yeah, that, that sounds like a, honestly, it sounds like a line from a porn parody of a Lethal Weapon movie, but consider it plugged. Anyway, oh god, what have I done? Uh, what I've done, by the way, is create just a terrible purple roundabout nightmare, which... I feel like I'm just going to feed here. Let, let's feed this roundabout nightmare. Uh, feed this roundabout nightmare is probably a better title than a soul deep need for road titles. Tiles? See, I can't even say the other one. So we're just going to, you know, there. Feed this roundabout nightmare is now the title of the episode. We're going to take, uh, we're going to take this pur purple as well. We're going to take one, two, three purples. We're going to draw motorway number six. We're going to feed motorway number six into the northwest spur of this awful purple roundabout, <laughs> which, I mean, I know I just changed it, but actually awful purple roundabout is, is a much snappier version of the thing I previously said. So we're going to feed this awful purple roundabout. And all of these are actually going to catch up and definitely not die. Speaking of things that are going to catch up and definitely not die, these two orange businesses are uh, kind of fucked, actually. I don't really have any way of throwing more cars at them, and it didn't matter because the because the purple fix didn't actually fix anything, so we got 2,687 commuters over 110 days. But hey, you know who has a laptop computer that has been in the shop and is not in a state of repair and therefore could not put up a score in many motorways and therefore forfeited his informal competition in many motorways to me? Why, it's Samurai Sam! Drop those GGs in the chat if you've got them. Victory! Glory! Triumph! For me! Yes, for me, the underscore goog. Top 5% in the world. And I beat Samurai Sam. Thank you for the GG's Luke Ainsworth. Let us now confer with our very good friend, bestest in the whole wide world. Yes, it is the Wordle. Hello, the Wordle. Uh, hello is a terrible guess. And yet, it could be hello. There's nothing say It's not. It could have been. In the moment, it could have been. And then, it was not. It could be skate. We know there's an E. And actually, uh, listen. Um, wow. Turns out skate was a pretty damn solid second guess. So, uh, could it be steam? Could it absolutely be steam. It is, in fact, steam. You see what happens when you go with your first guess and then just kind of ride the vibe? Don't, don't take that one out of context. I don't, listen, if you want to ride your vibe on your own time, in the privacy of your home, with no other obligations, that's entirely up to you. I am neither encouraging nor discouraging any vibe riding. With that having been said, let's move on to connections. Anyway, so, ow. Let's see here. Uh, so, rough 
and rough and scratchy and bumpy and rugged and rocky and uneven. These are all, well, these are all words that mean uneven, actually. So, interesting. Hmm. Let's, uh, let's just pass that off for a while, see if we maybe get back to it. Uh, there, there are the Rocky Mountains, but, and I mean, mountains themselves could be described as uh, rugged or scratchy or uneven or rough, but I digress. Okay, so, I wonder if maybe Rocky and Scratch, actually, hold on. Rocky, Chip, Stitch, and Scratchy are all pairs of cartoon... They're all individuals that are in cartoon duos, right? Because you've got Chip and Dale, the Rescue Rangers, Rocky and Bullwinkle, Lilo and Stitch, and Itchy and Scratchy. Am I a genius? I'm a fucking genius. I am a fucking genius. They are members of cartoon duos. And that takes a lot of the... uh, uneasiness out of the rest of this because we can just say that uh, rugged, rough, uneven, and bumpy just mean not smooth, right? They just mean not smooth. Yeah, they literally mean, in fact, I nailed the category not smooth. So, anyway. So now, we have a National Parcel Patch Parallel Plot Amusement. Okay, so South amusement, national, and parallel are all words that go before park, right? A national park is like the net, the Everglades or Grand Canyon, like they're, they're, they're a designated place in the United States that's, that the government is like, hey, 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 don't fuck with this. And South Park is a television program and an amusement park is like a you know what that is. And parallel parking is a thing that drivers allegedly can't do, which I'm kind of okay at. Like, he, he, here is the least important boast I will ever boast, and yet it is a, a legitimate, actual fact. I'm generally fine, but not great at parallel parking. Like, most of the time I can do it, sometimes I fuck it up. Sometimes it's too hard and I don't try. There you go. That is the goog on parallel parking. Uh, A bed, a parcel, a patch, or a plot. These are all fancy ways of dividing land, basically. There you go. There's a bit of land for growing. And we move on to strands. Today's theme is gnaw it alls, which, oh God, are we talking like beavers? I don't... Okay, so obviously I immediately see this Q, and from there we're basically tied to this U. So are we at, uh, it it can't just be quit. Um, It can't, I don't see quid or uh, there's no, actually there is a quite here, so it could be quite, no. Interesting. Uh, It could be squirt. Is it squirt? No. Is it squirts? Do we have... Okay. Interesting. Hmm. So we can't get to quart because there's no A adjacent to dish. Uh, I see quest. And if I see quest, I might see request? No. I don't see in quest. I don't see side quest or sub quest. Son of a bitch quest. Interesting. All right. Well, we'll get back to that then, I suppose. I see heal and hell and uh, lean. If you've got time to lean, you've got time to clean. I see pine, which is a type of wood, which could be gnawed upon, but no, that's incorrect. All right. Uh, I see ocean which is a, a, a thing that people... Do people gnaw on the ocean? I don't think people really gnaw on the ocean. So, hmm. All right. Well, I, I see mast. That's something. Uh, for that matter, I see master. There you go. That's a... No? Okay, fine. All 
Alrighty. Hmm. And again, I'll say, hmm. Hey, look. It's Chin. That's another word. We're rapidly approaching, uh, fuck it, let's just find 18 words and mash the hint button time. Which isn't a great thing. Are you going to give me Taze? You're not going to give me Taze. Okay, fine. I understand that. Taser's a brand name, after all. It's a bit like saying, you know, here's a paper, would you go Xerox me five copies of that? It's a thing people say, but it's not really the proper usage of the word. So, all right. Uh, I do see stun, though, so that's nice. And stud and studs, two different words. Which is just lovely. Uh, I see sure. All of these, you know, quick little four-letter four words are great ways to get your hints if you need them or to stall for time if you're not seeing anything that's relevant to the actual thing, but you have a soul-deep obligation to um, talk. Yeah. So anyway, I see deal. Uh, I don't see no deal, which is interesting. Gnaw it all. I don't see, like... Animals that gnaw? I don't see, like, what animals gnaw, really? There's there's beavers. I mean, people gnaw. People people can gnaw on things, and dogs can gnaw on things. You can gnaw on bones. Luke Ainsworth sees taste, which is a thing you can do when you gnaw on something, and a thing you lack when you gnaw on something in an inappropriate situation. And yet... <sighs> hmm... Hmm, again. Not once but twice do I go, hmm. I keep trying to pull quid out of here because I see Q-U-I-D, but they're not actually, you know, connected. So we can't do that. Similarly, I can't get quit. Though I did get, I did get that some other way. So we got quit and we got quite. Uh, and we got quits. I think we got quits. Did we get quits? Now we have quits. Okay. Uh, and we got studs. Oh, I already got studs. All right, fine. Jerk. Stupid game reminding me that I've already done one of the things I could have possibly done, so I can't get credit for doing it twice. God. So many rules in this game. Such as, you know... You have to be good at it. It's really rude when you think about it. Have you ever considered that it's it's rude for a game to make you be good at the game in order to win the game? That's just... That's rude. <sighs> Son of a bitch. Son of a bitch. Hey, look, Adele. Is there a farmer in it? The world may never know. We... R. I think I already saw Rune. Uh, I can see Prune. It's definitely not going to be because that left an I isolated. But listen, it got us one step closer to something. Uh, Puce is a color. So that's another hint for the hint bucket. I see a famous chef named Julia. And I also see this hint button. <laughs> I was just about to say, fuck it, Luke Ainsworth found rest, which is nice. Thank you, Luke Ainsworth. I appreciate that. Hey, look, we can see star and stars and stare and stairs. And now we can mash the hint button six times and figure out what the hell the theme of this puzzle is. G hamster. It is indeed mammals what gnaw. Okay. Hey, look, I see musk. That's another word. Uh, it's musk connected to muskrat. Would you believe that? And then over here, this is... Good lord. Uh, hmm... I'm sorry? Oh, it's a squirrel! There we go. Okay. 
A squirrel can gnaw on some nuts. That's an absolute, absolutely a thing that happens. Uh, up over here, we have a TIL porcupines gnaw on things. Porcupines gnaw? The more you know. Uh, over here, we have... <laughs> Sorry, is this chinchilla? Chinchillas gnaw on things. I'll take your word for that. Strands. Sure. N these are all fancy rodents. Okay. All right. Sure. Fine. Whatever. It's okay. For today's Immaculate Grid, we need brewers and cubs and royals and A's and dudes what played shortstop and dudes what caught. And yes, we do need a dude who played shortstop and caught, which is tricky. <laughs> Let's see here. Um, I know Craig Biggio was a catcher and then transitioned to like second base and the outfield. Would he have ever played a single game at shortstop? I mean, probably, maybe. That does make sense. Have the twins ever stuck Williams Astadio at shortstop? I don't think so. I don't think they're that stupid. I don't think they're that goofy either. Because you'd have to be one or the other, or both, to put Williams Astadio at shortstop. Russell Martin might have played shortstop, because he played some third base. That's true. <sighs> Brock Holt was a super utility guy, but I don't think he ever, he ever caught. Oh, there was a guy for the Tigers a few years ago who played all nine positions in a game as a stunt. And I think that might have been Austin Romine. And if that was Austin Romine, he would be a guy who played shortstop and catcher in the same game, which is exceedingly rare. I'm fairly confident that was Austin Romine. You know what? We're just going to shoot for this bottom right square right the fuck now. Was that Austin Romine game? That absolutely was not Austin Romine. Okay. Somewhere Samurai Sam is watching this and screaming at his YouTube video, and now he's rushing to the comments to tell me who that tiger was who caught and played shortstop in the same game. We're just going to stick on this square. Uh, my first thought was Craig Biggio. Would that, have, would that have gotten me there? That absolutely would not have gotten me there. Okay, fine. Uh, did Russell Martin ever find himself covering shortstop? Yes, he absolutely did. Son of a bitch. All right. Uh, dude who played for the Cubs and the A's is Jed Lowry. Jed Lowry never played for the Cubs? No, oh, thought Jed Lowry played for the Cubs. Annoying. A dude who played shortstop for the Cubs is Zen Bobrist. A uh, dude who played for the A's and Cubs is uh, Dan Heron. I think Dan Heron played for the Cubs. That sounds right. That tracks. There you go. Hi, Dan Heron. A uh, dude who played for the Cubs and the Royals is not Mike Avilas. Um, uh, David DeJesus. That sounds correct. I believe David DeJesus was a Cub. I believe a thing that is correct. A dude that caught for the Royals is Mike Sweeney. I think he was a catcher a little bit. Yes, he was. And a dude who caught for the A's is... Uh, I don't think they ever had Scott Hatterberg catch. They, they brought him in to play first base and then made a movie about it where Scott Hatterberg, the mm, 12th most important member of the 2002 Oakland Athletics got more screen time than the 11 dudes ahead of him. It's probably an exaggeration to say that Scott Hatterberg was the 12th most important member of the 2002 Oakland Athletics, but, well, they had the dude who won the MVP and three, like, super awesome pitchers, and I don't think any of them even have their names mentioned in the fucking movie. So, I digress. A Milwaukee Brewer who played shortstop is robbing you out. We're just, we're just taking that W. There you go. Ah, <sighs> sad. Most famous A's catcher is Terry Steinbeck, who is, is not, in fact, the present A's catcher. So, I have no idea who the A's catcher is. We're going to find this out right now, actually.
actually. Um, here we go. T 2024 Oakland A's. Who's your fucking catcher? Your fucking catcher is Shay Langoliers. Hey, I've heard of him. He's pretty good. This has been Good Morning Mini Motorways, where if you take away nothing else, take away two things. One, uh, there's an RCV123 link in the description. Vote in the, in the poll to see what game we play on Thursdays, starting hopefully next Thursday. And two, Shay Langoliers is pretty good. Thanks for watching, folks. Have a great day. Bye bye. Byron Mask with a hundred bits. There it is. Byron Mask cheered one hundred bits. Honk 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 honk